what are the important issues when it comes to cartilage repair? The first is to know that whatever method is used is effective in building articular cartilage. There are two types of cartilage. Hyaline cartilage, which is the tough gristle uh, that caps the ends of long bones, and fibrocartilage, which is the softer cartilage, uh, which is found in knee meniscus and the labral tissue uh, in the shoulder and hip. The second issue is what type of cell to use. Adult, adult autologous mesenchymal stem, stem cells are the ones that are easiest to harvest and to use, but are they the, the most effective? Allogeneic donor cells may prove to be a more viable source, providing uh, that graft versus host reactions will not be an issue. How do we ensure stem cell survival in the hostile environment of an arthritic joint? The use of growth factors and other protective factors need to be considered. What is the optimal condition that will ensure a good outcome? Much work has been done in the field of biomaterial scaffolding. Is it really necessary though? While in vitro studies and small animal studies appear promising, no definitive human studies have been done. It will be important to make sure that whatever new cartilage is made with stem cells adheres to the underlying bone. What will be the longevity and durability of the new cartilage matrix? When you click on the button below, you'll get access to a page where you can sign up to receive a portfolio of information that will give you the inside scoop on how stem cells can help you if you have osteoarthritis the science, the biology, and the results. See you on the other side.